Good evening, good afternoon. Thanks for watching me. Um, I know a lot of people have waited for me for some time. And let me know where you are watching me from. Thank you very much. My greeting to my brother Choco. All the people over out there, if for Canada just asked me, is Mr. O, here for no more words. God bless you. Nana, I'm Captain Brian Leonardo. I'm amazing, my, my, my auntie, my sister. Let me know where you are watching me from. Today we are going to discuss something very important so when you say scholarship what is scholarship scholarship is a form of what is a form of financial aid or awarded to students for to further the education right generally scholarship are awarded based on certain what criteria and academic merit or academic credentials or maybe performances diversity and inclusion so one some of the scholarship comes with essay writing some scholarship you need to write essay some scholarship is not based on, let me say, your GPA, like maybe a first class or second class upper. There are certain scholarship. There are certain scholarship that you need to write essay before you will get. Especially some of the American schools, when you are submitting your application, when you are doing the online application, they will tell you that write 500 words of your career goals. Some of the schools will also say that write 500 ways of your maybe career goals. Write 500 ways about your leadership skills. Write 500 ways about maybe um, yourself. What does this scholarship mean to you? What are you going to use this money for? Why do you think that you are the best candidate to be selected? These are essays that are included when sometimes you are applying to certain schools. Especially in America, what, there are certain schools when you are applying, they will ask you to even type in the application so that you save it and it will move on to other steps. Different scholarships comes. We have different types of scholarship. Scholarship that is based on academic credentials. Scholarship that is based on, um, you know, certain criteria. Like maybe you have NGO. Maybe you have, um, you have community, vo you, you have volunteered to work with other NGOs, right? Maybe you have this perception of, you know, you have the ability of writing. You have a defined project you want to embark. You have um, certain things that you want to do for your community. There are certain scholarships that comes with other foundations. Like maybe they want to see your career goals, your leadership skills, community engagement. And, you know, like the social organization. How you can be able to translate and it also impacts on lives, right? Certain scholarship come with leadership. Some certain scholarship come with skills. Like maybe they want your project proposals and those kind of stuff, right? So you need to know the scholarship you want and the school you are applying for. So let me dive into three things and then know. The first one is that there are certain scholarship that come with essay writing. The essay writing is that they will allow you to write maybe five hundred words or maybe thousand words about your career goals or maybe 800 words about your career goals why do you think that this scholarship is the best for you why is it that you're the best candidate to, to to get it after you get this scholarship what are some of your future career goals do you have any plan do you have any projection any idea that maybe it can help the organization to grow they will ask you so that you write for example like those people who are interested of going to uk they have common word uh, common word scholarship and this scholarship come with what essay writings right so if it is based on essay writing, they will select you, those uh, those applicants that really met what the criteria, they will call you and give you the scholarship, especially UK. But in Canada and US, basically, in Canada and US, it comes with what graduate teaching assistant. So we have scholarship that come with graduate teaching assistant. We have scholarship that come with what employment in the school. We have scholarship that come with what... Um, alumina scholarship we have scholarship that come with what government we have scholarship that come with organizations so certain scholarship are given based on your academic credentials like maybe a first class student you have a gp of 3.5 3.8 3.3 these people are brilliant but needy students they will give this scholarship to them we have department funding so the department funding is based on those people who are applying for the school they will give it to you we also have 
entrance scholarship, as someone has said. So the entrance scholarship is is based on when you get admission, the scholarship they are going to give it to you. Basically, you are you are coming to the school, so it serves as appreciation. There are certain schools in Canada that really have this entrance scholarship. Entrance scholarship. Entrance scholarship basically is the de the the the, the, um, the department is going to determine that you are coming to the university. So this is the money they want to give it to you. That's the entrance scholarship, right? In, a, in as much as you have the um, you have the admission, at least they can consider you that you are coming, right? So if the department you meet maybe the department criteria maybe three point eight, they can give you the scholarship, right? Certain scholarship you you, to, you need to write essays. Some of the scholarship you need to apply to certain organizations. I have a friend who is in UK. He has a lot of these scholarships, right? They apply it is online. Sometimes it is department. Sometimes it is hall. The hall. Maybe you're come. You're going to maybe come and come invest of science and technology, for example. So maybe if you're coming to abroad, so maybe there are certain schools they have hostel. Let me say hostel or a hall in the school. So sometimes the hall can give you a scholarship. So these are also kind of scholarship that comes, and also have internal scholarship based on employment in the school. I can't remember when I was applying for one of the school in the United States where they, they, they were saying that they have LGBTQ coordinator. So this L, L, LGBT coordinator, you'll be interested you will be advocating for the interests of these gay and you know lesbian and it comes with full scholarship right so we have internal employment so some people are saying that i've gotten i've gotten admission i don't get funding you are not doing you are not doing you are not doing a lot of um you know research about it You are not doing a lot of research in the school there are certain employment that is there so you can get employment at the library you can get the employment at the school uh, maybe the sports department you can get employment at the gym center you can get employment from the administration the faculty of dean so that you can run the affairs of those kind of stuff you can get employment from the logistics you can get employment from maybe even the financial aid in the school. Sometimes when you get an admission, that doesn't mean that it is the end of it. Look for the other internal funding within the school. They have openings. They have a lot of openings that you can apply to. So some people are saying that I've gotten admission, but I don't get I don't get um I don't get uh funding or I didn't get funding. What should I do? You need to go extra mile. Sometimes so you need to ask the department, the department that maybe you are applying to. So maybe you can ask the graduate coordinator, or maybe I met the criteria. What are some of the next step, or do I be considered for funding? All these stuff. Sometimes you open it because sometimes people reject. For example, some people have applied to maybe Yale University and maybe Miami University, and Yale University have given the person full scholarship. Uh, Miami University have given the the person full scholarship and if you don't ask they are going to give it to certain people who are really serious because you'll be shortlisted right so sometimes if you don't get it if you get admission and maybe you qualify for funding and the funding didn't come go extra mile and ask the graduate coordinator or the department that okay this and this and that that you want to do because that is basically the way one way that you can get the scholarship because i have a lot of friends who are maybe working in certain campuses that are getting work to do and this money goes straight directly to their tuition fee that will cover their tuition fee their school fees for them and it's a part of scholarship that you need to so apart from the department look for other employment opportunity within the school go extra mile and ask sometimes to ask them to send you the link ask of what scholarship the amount so they will have, they will know how to apply for your study permits. I don't know what you are talking about. Yeah, basically, that is it. And two, some people are saying that I want to get scholarship. We have certain date and deadline that we apply for scholarship. 
So, for example, maybe in September you have decided to apply for schools in Canada and the United States. Now, if you are applying to these schools, we call something priority deadline or funding deadline. The reason why people are not are, are getting scholarship, maybe you are a first class student, but you are not getting scholarship, is that you do not meet what the criteria, the, the, the deadline, or maybe the set deadline for the ap applying for it. Right? For example, some schools will tell you that we will be open admission September 15th. Those of you who are able to apply from September 15th to November 30th, you can be considered for funding or scholarship. Meanwhile, the admission deadline is on maybe 15th February. I hope you guys are learning. So, for me, instance, the scholarship I used, I was able to I was able to do, I was able to what match the, the deadline for the scholarship. Because if you don't meet the scholarship deadline, how are you going to get a scholarship? Some people just say that oh through over, then you apply, the admission will come, you won't get you won't get a scholarship. Because the scholarship has passed. And if it passed, that means you're not going to get anything. So this September, they are going to open nominations, they are going to open admissions, and you know, prepare, get your document prepared. Make sure that you set for the priority deadline for the school or the funding deadline. Some of the departments will state it. They will state it on their website. Some will not state it. You need to ask, what time is the best for me to apply for me to get scholarship? Is it important enough? Is it what I want to do? Is it the things I want to do? This and this and this and that. So that we can get the scholarship. Don't sit there and wait that I want scholarship. Scholarship doesn't come like as easy as you are thinking. You need to be strategic. You need to be knowledgeable. You need to be smart. Because in scholarship, it is only smart people who are able to get. So if you are not smart enough, you'll be sleeping though. You'll just go to the school website and your application fee is maybe on the 15th September. You say, okay, 15th September, they are. Uh, or January 15th, I'm waiting. January, I'll submit it. That time you submit it, the deadline or the priority deadline or the funding deadline has already passed. Where are you going to get a scholarship? So the admission will come, but you won't get a scholarship. Meanwhile, if you have applied early, it can be getting you the full scholarship reward. I said, yes, that is true. I applied to University of Pennsylvania and priority deadline got me 15,000 US dollars. So please, make sure that you write the priority deadline. Don't just apply to schools. Make sure the school funding deadline you go. And sometimes too, the first thing you need to know that maybe you are applying to go for psychology, masters in psychology, masters in linguistics, masters in nursing or something like that. What you need to do is that go to the department and look for funding. Do they have funding, the cost and everything? Do they have scholarship? Go to the department. The department will tell you that the UF department, sometimes to alumni scholarship, it comes. There are certain people, old, old people, 93 years, 80 years, 100 years, that they have gotten a lot of money. So they establish certain foundation in the school. So it is scholarship that will help brilliant students. Sometimes international students are included. Sometimes you need to apply for you to win it. So don't just wait. Don't just sit down. That, oh, I'm looking for scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. Check the priority deadline. Go to the department and look whether the department have funding or not. Do they give scholarship? Go to the department. Don't just apply. It is a waste of time. The reason, why, the reason why most of us do not get this opportunity is because of... We just want to apply to the school and get the admission after that. There's a problem. How are you going to finance yourself? How are you going to get these thirty thousand dollars to pay for your school fees? So you need to be smart. So priority deadline is the way that will help you to also get scholarship. The entrance scholarship. The entrance scholarship I've already sp spoken on it, right? The thing is that they will give you the entrance scholarship when you get the admission. It is entrance. Sometimes it is given to best high students, right? Entrance scholarship. There are a lot of it, especially Memorial University, University of Newfoundland, 
all these stuffs. New Memorial University of Newfoundland. Sorry, they have this entrance scholarship. Par. They really have scholarship. So you can also check that one out. You can check that one out. For example, maybe you're also watching me, your GPA is very low. Maybe you have 2.3 or maybe 2.5 or 2.6, but you're looking for scholarship. What are some of the things you can do? One, email, email the one. When you are sending them email, make it structured, make it very nice. That at least they can give you the scholarship. Now, sometimes too, you explain to maybe if you are looking for supervisor, you explain to the supervisor the reason why you had the reason why you had that grace. Because some, some people were engaged in politics, some were engaged in leadership skills, some were engaged in school activities, you know, so they couldn't study to get the academic, maybe uh, because they, they didn't know how to get their first class. Because of the things they were doing, they have NGOs embarking on tours, community impact, going to seminars and those kind of stuff. So sometimes, explain yourself. It's not like maybe one bomb or you don't know, or maybe... You're not intelligent student, that's why you got in second class, lower or third class. Explain to them. Let them know that this and this are the reason why you got this. So they shouldn't look at the, the certificate or something like that, but they should go beyond that to even interview you and see your perspective and idea. That can really what help you to also get it. But some people they, they will not do that. Oh, I'm a third, third class, so and so what? I'm second class lower, and so what? You have given up. No, don't give up like that. Go extra mile. Yesterday, somebody commented on my application that he's not getting scholarship. And I, 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 I told him that until all Canada and US schools reject you, don't stop. You apply to only three schools and you want scholarship. Sometimes you need to go extra mile to make sure that you have the requisite knowledge and you have the requisite everything that can really help you you need to go extra mile it's not our time for you to wish that oh this and this and that no 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 because if you wait there are certain things that will be very 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 so explain to them and tell them that the reason why you got the third class let them know sometimes too they might be interested in your leadership skills because they go beyond certificate so prove to them that you have this and this and that that can really help you to acquire whatever you want to acquire. It is the moment you need to delve into it deeply. Explain the fact. Dear sir, this and this and this and that. These are some of the reasons why I had this grace. It's not because I am weak or maybe I'm not intelligent. It's because I've been embarking on other social organization, community impact, volunteerism, such as this and this and that. So if, if he wants to move you to interview so that you can explain yourself, well, then that is fine. I hope this helped. Uh, please share this video. Let it reach other people so that they can also get some of the knowledge as to how they can navigate through. Thank you very much. My name is Peter Bewa. God bless you.